I have already spent the spent care doing some, you are doing some little something. Here comes the real juice, and it was a second and how many times it was extracted. So, let's, let's start with this particular part now. What I'll do is, I'll save this export and do the export and save it to the reg format. Let's say 11, 11 not reg. Save. I'll open this file into edit plus or any of your favorite, favorite uh, to a perfect uh, tool. And now I have this particular part, Arthur, followed by the XLB. Now this XLB is 16 bit. Now we'll divide the 16 bit into 8 parts. 8 parts left and 8 parts right. This particular part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This will tell you the date and the timestamps when it was executed, last executed. And this one will tell you the number of times it was executed. So if I'm talking about this, let's let's decode this value. There's a special tool for it. The only tool that can decode is decode tool. So if you want it, I'll, I'll tell you my mail address, you can ask for any tool, I'll give you the tools. Whatever the tools are available to the market at free of cost, send to my partners. So I'll give you this tool. So, let's do this tool now. Selecting this file, this particular portion, and I'm giving this to D4. Now, here comes again the complex part. It says Windows 64 bit text value, little Indian and the big Indian. Anyone knows what is little Indian and the big Indian? Please. Any other explanation? See, see Windows, Windows, if I'm talking about the Intel processors, it follows little idea. If I'm talking about the Motorola processors, it follows big idea. Little idea follows from left to right, big idea follows from right to left. So, you have to select little idea. And then, as I supply the key that I selected, you have to remove this commas. I know it's a manual part, but I'll show you the best tool that can automate this process. I say decode it. Here's the answer when, when the tool was last run. Uh, it says on 5th December 2009 at this particular time. Any doubts? Any questions? Now, how many times it was run? How to decode? That's pretty simple. What you have to do is see this value, this particular value, 23. Is this 23 the original value? Answer is no. You have to subtract 5 from it. 23 minus 5 is 18. Right? Now again, I don't know why Microsoft, why Microsoft has subtracted minus 5, might be Bill Gates and Gates, five, Gates is the 5 letter word. So he has simply subtracted 5 from it. But you have to subtract 23 minus 5 and then only you will get the original value. So, 18 is the number of times that this particular tool was run. Okay? Let's automate this process now. I'll use this key. Now it has been, now this tool is paid. It has been taken by Paramount. But you can search onto the on Google Windows Registry Analysis and you can get this tool free of cost. But most of the guys don't know and they ask Paramount that we want to purchase this one. But this tool is free of cost. It does register Okay. Let's now, user assist me 
are present in which key, in which file, anti-user dot dev file. I'll load that particular file. Open anti-user center key one more. Anti-user dot dev. Then I'll go for to tools file and my user assets. Here we are. These are the raw part, and there it's recorded. Okay, let's come back. So this file, two groups are So this was the last time I was Number of time it was only one. So you can easily see the values and get the answer. And outs. So now, what all other things can be looked into? Shell bags again. See the shell bags. Shell bags again contains very important information. If you are doing the network parsing, you can see what what all files a particular user has done. Like what, if if I am into corporate environment and I scan for all the machines which will be having the open shares and I access that share, I am not authorized to do that. But again, if I have done it, I can. Uh, I mean, a forensic investigator can take one machine and can see what all. What all network files, network paths I have, I have no access to. So all the information will be uh, I have to look into that very good question, but still I have to look at that, I don't know. And this I don't think so. I get registered into my last or... Right, right, right. So, right. so, I, don't think, so I don't think we, it, it, will be, it will be there in the registry. I don't think so. In the same manner, you can you can load the other keys and get the see all the information that's available. Stream MRU, stream MRU is again like a what all folders were access. Like if someone has watched the Swan movie but he has deleted to it, there will be a file name that will be there and into the registry that will be stored into the registry. And the end user thinks he has deleted the registry. Oh, sorry, deleted the file and the evidence is gone. But no, a forensic investigator can think far beyond that and can get the information. Then those be deleted. Which one? Why not? You can you can modify the registry. If you can, so if you can. I delete the file. I delete it. That's why I don't want to tell all these kinds. There's a file between zero and one, and there's a file between forensic and the entire forensic tool. So even if uh, there's a timestamp uh, tool that can change the timestamps of the file, but again, I can extract the information even if the timestamp has been changed. It's really easy, I'll, but I need the full image of the laptop or the desktop. I can extract that information. So if a user can change the time, I can extract the file. If, if he's changing the registry, what all keys they will change? One key, two key, but there will, I'll be amazed. No, why, why ask this question is typically in, uh, like, my or something, sector zero, Perhaps you, if you corrupt that, you are just That is MBR. Right. So, that, that is a system privilege in sector. Right. Likewise, this... But if, if you have destroyed the MBR, a forensic investigator can still be filled up the... Right. Right. The question was, uh, from that perspective, is it open at the user? Because, yes. like, some APIs are, can, cannot be called in user mode. No, they can. Right. No, they can. This, these particular files can. I mean, the, this particular keys can be called. That's the door. And if you can change, see, if you can change the product key, then you can do anything into the registry. But you should have been well versed with how the registry is working and how to change the keys. That's it. You don't need anything. If it's not a rocket science, it's very easy. If you are clear with the registry, you are a master in practice. So, these are the other keys that are important when I am doing my investigation. So, user keys, MRU, is program cache system. Of all this, we have this is shell, bag, stream, MRU. MRU lists contain the information when you type into the run, run command and you are doing some kind of activities like FS config or you are accessing the network path that will be stored into MRU list. Okay, now comes the USB store, very, very important key. 
Now for the BPO companies, this is very important. If I'm doing the investigation for the companies like BPOs, then it's very important because they, are, they don't want their data to go out of, the, of their premises. So I can go to this. USB store will be common for all the users. So it is, it is stored into HKLM, which is again a system file. HKLM system file is not more than even USB store. I will navigate to this particular key and then we will automate this process again. Yeah. This information is all, you know, I'm telling you again and again, if you are going to register 